but I've stood this close to his hair. I can't figure it out. <laughs> well, I just stood there and looked at the top of his head. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> but it's just, you know, it's a freaky thing just to look at it. I swear, man. It should be one of the seven wonders of the world. I mean, Uh, what compels you to do as much for the military as you do, Cindy? That's a good question. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, you know I don't. I, I've been doing that stuff uh, for a lot of years now, and and once you do it, I once you once you uh, have been in the presence of heroes, every chance you get to do that, why wouldn't you want to do that? And I just I just enjoy you know being in their presence. And, you know, whatever. Uh, the wounded. Uh, somebody's asking about my uh, working with the Wounded Warrior Project. I started working with them about three years ago, I guess. So uh, it's been really good. It's been a very rewarding experience to get to meet those those guys and girls. And uh, yeah, they're heroes. So you know, there again, I mean, these are just people that are inspirational to hang around them. You know, so it's I have my own selfish motives for doing these things. I just like being with them with heroes. Alright. Okay, what gave you the idea to record Semper Fi? Uh, from Lindsay. Okay. Hey. You're you are you're a Marine. Yes. Well my next door neighbor uh, kid that lives next door to me in Nashville, uh, we're in Tennessee, south of Nashville there. Uh, he's he's a Marine, he's been deployed a couple of times and I don't know, I just uh, every time we go, I'm going to tell this story in the show tonight so it'll be redundant for you guys, but uh, every time we go do these USO things, we, they don't hardly ever let us go where the Marines are because they're always in a forward operating position that's hot or something, you know, they won't let us go there. So I just wanted to do something expressly for the Marine Corps, so I wrote the song. And, uh, uh, the kid who lives next door, you know, I, he was an inspiration to me to write the song. So. Where'd you get the inspiration for Badonka Donk? <laughs> I get inspiration to sing Badonka Donk every day. I'm a huge ass fan. So. It's just right there with boobs. Pretty much neck and neck. <laughs> What's your drink of choice? I'm... Yes! Yes! That's her question. You want to get me drunk up? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, December will be uh, December will be ten years since I had a drink. Amen. I had, you know, nah, they don't clap. I hate it. I mean, you know, <laughs> I've always, I've, you know, I, I was on, I was in pretty bad shape, and so they, anyway. Uh, but I thought, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm never going to drink again, but I'm not going to drink again until my accountant tells me that I can. <laughs> Someday, I hope my accountant comes to me and goes, "Hey, you know what, man? I think you're good. <laughs> I'm going to the fucking bar. Let's go." <laughs> Who would win a fight? You're a Toby Keith. Wow. Well, it'd be a short one. I don't know who'd win, but ain't neither one of us in shape enough to fight longer than 20 seconds. So <laughs> we just probably fight till we were tired and just sit there and look at each other. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. You know, you don't you don't want to fight an old man because I'm gonna poke you eye and kick you in the balls. It ain't gonna be. <laughs> It ain't gonna be a fair fight. I'm gonna hurt you bad real quick. But I gotta get this shit over with. <laughs> Is your daughter's pink rod and reel the Barbie or the Disney princess? So that's somebody that knows their rod and reels right there. There you go. Where did that come from? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, who makes the Barbie and who makes the Disney princess? Zebco! Now, Zepco makes the door of the Explorer. Oh! <laughs> Zepco makes door of the Explorer. Shakespeare makes the Disney princess. I can't remember who makes the Barbie one. I don't know. Shakespeare! 
Might be, I don't know. Anyway, but my little girl has a Disney princess. Yeah. There you go. We've got all of them, though. I mean, <laughs> but uh, she usually uses the Disney princess. It's a little easier to operate than the Barbie unit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Do you still get chills when you sing Arlington? Yeah, you know, sure, man. I mean, that's a, it's a heavy song. Uh, probably the most uh, nerve-wracking video I ever did, for sure, hands down, was doing that Arlington video because when you go to lay the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington, you don't you don't get do-overs and you know and you, they can't even see the cameras. They have to hide the cameras way away so that nobody knows that there are any cameras around because it's such a, a reverence around that ceremony that you know I was just scared I was going to trip and fall down or something. But uh, yeah, Arlington still means a lot to me. What's your favorite song to perform? You know that changes, but you know. Uh, I don't know what other artists say, but most of them are full of shit and they lie anyway. <laughs> but if you don't, as an entertainer or singer, if you don't answer that question by saying, my favorite song to sing is your favorite song to listen to, yeah. and I, what I mean by that is, whichever song really gets the crowd and they hollering and dancing, that's the one I want to do. I just do that one all night long, because that's the one I like, whichever one really gets them, you know throwing panties and stuff. And, uh, you know? You know? Speaking of, <laughs> why do people want to know this? Does that say Ray Aldrich? Red. Ray? Ray? Where's Ray? Oh, Reg? Yes. Oh, Reg Aldrich. Dude. Why did you want to know whether I'm wearing boxers or briefs? I think you're looking for the Black Keys concert, Reg. That's down there. over at BOK, bro. That's where you and your boys need to go. Uh, <laughs> Reggie gonna kick somebody last. <laughs> somebody ain't making it home tonight without an asshole. Been, or free drinks. Y'all been a lot of fun, man. Thank you so much. I uh, hope you have a good time tonight. Thanks to the folks at Country Financial for having us. And, uh, been a lot of fun. Let's go, uh, let's go do some country music. Yeah.